Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan427. Today, I actually have another DC McFarlane Toys review, Multiverse. And this is actually on the Superman number one action figure right here. And this is actually part of Superman 85 Years from DC McFarlane. This is actually the McFarlane Collector Edition. This is actually like a special box set. It actually costs more. I believe it's $10 more than, well, I guess $8 because... But how do you make problems? We make problems retail for like $20. I don't know. But these are $30 figures right here. So it retails for a little bit more than the average figure. You guys don't know, Superman's one of my favorites. Like, he's like, what, top three favorite super, top three or four favorite superheroes. Definitely in my top five favorite superheroes of all time. I absolutely love Superman. And I definitely want this classic one because it reminds me of the very old cartoon from like the 1940s. I actually grew up watching that. You know, I had that the whole complete collection on DVD. I should love, absolutely love that DVD way back when I was a child. But yeah, this is actually DC McFarlane. This is actually the first one in that one. You see it says number one right here. So it's number one action comics. And this is number one in that uh, weave or that series that they actually have. You see 22 moving parts, McFarlane toys, 12 plus McFarlane collector edition, DC multiverse, Superman, 85 years. Pretty that has been 85 years of Superman. See DC multiverse right there. Superman right there, old one. See on the back, Superman Action Comics. This is Action Comics number one. The most expensive comic book of all time. These going for about two million now, or something like that, one million, two million. This is going for millions. Yeah, DC Multiverse, you see McFarlane, Collector Edition, Action Comics number one, Superman, see number one right there, McFarlane Toys. And that was actually the entire box. See the front, I mean, see the bottom. And the top right there, that was actually the entire box. Now, let's actually unbox this figure and actually put it on the turntable and look at this figure. And actually looking at this figure straight over down, the one weird thing I could say just off top is actually these boots right here. You see they're blue, it's all blue. And I looked at it when I first put on box and like, something is off of this. Cause I've never seen Superman with that much blue. I was just like, maybe that's how he was originally. But no, you see on here, he actually has red boots and everything else is pretty accurate on here. I mean, the blue is way lighter, but that's not that big deal. But the boots are red. Now, I don't know certain panels in this comic book are is blue boots and red boots. I know there's some discrepancies with that, like some of the time they changes, but these are obviously red boots and I don't understand why they wouldn't get that right on here. You see, it's, it's obviously blue on here. So I, I don't understand. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It does look weird because I, I noticed that before I even before I even looked at this, I noticed that I was like something is just complete. I was like something is just off with this because of course it drops. It's very hard for this to stand up. But I was just like, oh, crap. I was just like something is just off with this just because he had the red, the, the uh, all blue. I just I was like I've never seen Superman with all blue like that. So I thought that that was really weird. See, I got the museum jar on it. But actually looking at this figure. Taking it off the uh, turntable base and actually looking at this figure straight up there. You see the head scope is definitely a more wider head scope. It's definitely what he looked like back then. From even in a cartoon, he actually looked this way. So I'm perfectly fine with it. Is it my favorite version of Superman? No, but because I actually grew up with this type of version of Superman, I actually picked this up. Because I'm not really a fan of this. It's like the Hush one. I'm probably not picking up because I'm not a fan of this like water thing ahead, water type of head scope. I just got this one. If you look at articulation, you actually get a little articulation right there with the elbows pulling the back a little bit like that and forward. And you see you get double jointed arms right here so that's really cool it's pins in it as well so that's really really cool you actually get waist swivel like that those all the way swivel you actually get get the move the head around this much all the way around like that you get double jointed knees right here on actually both of them so that's really really cool you always get the toe articulation on these McFarlane figures same type of toe articulation pretty much for every last one of them see right there that's awesome too you see, moving around just like that. It is kind of hard to stand up, but that's why they give us a base on all these figures. Like that. And you see, you actually get the cape now. I believe he had the yellow thing. I mean, the yellow S on the cape yet. So that makes a, a lot of sense. And I love the sculpting right there. The way it flows over like that and the way this flows over like that. You see, that's actually a flap that actually folds over. So that's awesome as well. I love the detailing on this. That's really, really cool right there. The detailing all over this figure i think that's awesome you see looking on the inside of it great detail as well you look at the inside of that as well right there and another thing is it don't seem like he has a yellow belt neither so there are some inaccuracies 
It's supposed to be the original thing and the S looks a lot bigger. So, I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal. I didn't notice any of this until I just pulled it out of the packaging. I didn't really notice any of this, but there are some inaccuracies on this figure. And uh, I mean, I wouldn't, if I didn't, if they actually didn't have this picture on it, I probably wouldn't have even noticed, but I knew something was off just by just, as soon as I pulled it out of the package, I knew something was off. Now, as far as the accessory goes, you actually get no switch out hands, which I hate that for McFarlane. They just keep giving us no switch out hands. All we needed was two of these type of hands, the two fisted hands, but it gave us one and one. I mean, it just is what it is. There's nothing that could be done about that. I mean, I just I don't have switch out hands for this. It's not like I have extra hands laying around. So McFarlane just gave me that. There's nothing I can really do about that. But as far as accessory goes, you see we get this chain on it. We actually can wrap around Superman. We'll get into detail of this. This is really cool. It actually doesn't lock all the way in. I thought it went all the way around like that. But I guess you could do that if you wanted to customize and stuff like that. But I think it looks pretty cool with the detail on it and stuff like that. I think that's what looks really cool. You actually can move it around like that. It stretches that much. And on this side, it stretches that much. These parts are actually together at the ends. And what you actually do is... Of course, you actually just wrap it around him like that to make it seem like he's actually breaking out of the chains just like that. So that's really, really cool right there. Really, really awesome where well, you could do it like that. And actually, the other accessory that she comes with, of course, you get the, where is the actual DC base? So, of course, you get this base right here. Oh, no, no. It's actually this one. This one you should get, the one you always get. Of course, you get this one right here. So this is pretty cool. I'll probably use this on one of my other figures because I have the other bases. I probably won't need this one, but I'll just say, but definitely keeping this. But this is the one we always get. Then a special one that we got is actually this Claire base one right here. You actually have them flying. I'm definitely doing some flight poses with this. So that's pretty cool right there. And what you actually do is you actually plug it in right here. You actually can plug it in. And so, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. You just plug it in like that, and then the whole thing is actually out. So that's really, really cool right there. You actually just put the Superman on top. You actually put any figure you want, basically, up here. Any figure you want. Just have them flying and stuff. You get the clamp them right there. So that's really pretty cool right there. I don't have any of these in my collection yet. And this is the special one you get. Now, with this figure, and with it being an extra price point, I really don't get the price point, to be honest, because it's like... You're not really getting that much stuff than what you... Like, I've gotten regular McFarlane figures with pretty much this amount of stuff. So, of course, you get this card right here. It should move it out. I won't be using this at all. I'd rather them just not... I mean, what they're doing is trying to make a more collector's edition type thing. But it's like, I don't really need that at all. So, with this, I won't never use it. Don't really need it. So, you just making me pay extra just for this figure when I don't even really care about this. Because... I'm gonna be honest, maybe I'll have this in my display, but to be honest, more than likely not. I mean, I just, I don't know what to really do with this. I mean, it looks cool, but is it really necessary for me? No, like I don't, I really won't do nothing with this, but that was actually everything he came with and give it those from the figure. Now I'll get my final thoughts and I'll pose this figure up. And actually wrapping this Superman video up, I would say outside of the inaccuracies, which I didn't even really, I mean, I, I could see it just because I'm a huge Superman fan. But to be honest, if I didn't see the picture, I really wouldn't have known. Outside of those few inaccuracies, which are kind of minor and stuff, I think it looks fantastic on my display and in, in, in my display next to the rest of my McFarlane figures. I definitely think that this one will stand out just because of the brighter blue, especially with a lot of Batmans and stuff inside my collection, even darker Superman's inside my collection. I feel like this one will stand out a lot more. I like the hair scope. We're not a fan of that type of look for Superman, but I understand why they did it because this was supposed to be the first appearance of Superman and stuff like that. But I think they captured it pretty much as best as they could. I mean, if you wanted to paint the boots red and get rid of the yellow belt, you could do that if you wanted to. But I think this is a fantastic Superman figure. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.